what's new in shortcut version 23.07 for one i see this phrase never say never which kinds of remind me of an old james bond movie now this new version of shortcut is mainly bug fixes however there are some new filters uh, that you may be interested if you encounter uh, some of these audio problems if you haven't watched my other video on shortcut there was a prior release to this in that version a motion tracker was added to shortcut and it actually can help you do quite a lot do check out the link i'm going to put it up here somewhere or at the links in the description if you haven't watched that video go check that out but do this after completing this video in version 23.07 there are mainly some bug fixes in terms of timeline scrubbing, uh, stabilized uh, analysis, and things like the cursor not being visible in the text rich filter. There are a few bugs being squashed as well, so if you face those, I'm sure this version will actually enhance your video editing. Two new audio filters has been added, and this is to help overcome an old problem that you may or may not encounter. For some people, when you export the video and there is audio between one clip to another, there may be some slight clicks and pops uh, in your audio. The track auto fade and track seam filter is to help eliminate this and these filters are to be added to the track so that it creates an automatic fade between clips to reduce or eliminate those clicks and pops. If you encounter them in your video, this is something that you may want to try. I'm sure it will help. One final thing added which is the slide show generator now there is a new transition type right at the top which is the cut type that you can use as well. I hope that this video has been helpful. Check out the motion tracking video if you haven't uh, watched that. Leave your thoughts in the comments below what you think about this new version of shortcut. And finally check out what's on the screen for the next shortcut tip.